Charlie Ketchell's recognized as one of the truly great fighters, regardless of weight. But this fight with Jack Johnson here today is the great moment in Stan Ketchell's life. If he wins, he'll be the first fighter in all history to hold both middleweight and heavyweight titles at the same time. Half punch, half push, and Ketchell flying across the ring. Shows the great difference in weight and power between these two men. Looks like the old story of a good little man against a good big man. The end of round eight. Ketchell's face is badly cut. Would you agree that the clinching is a more realistic fight than like the choreographed pad work routines that we are we're watching these days? I feel like this version of fighting over a hundred years ago is closer to what it would be like to get into a fist fight, you know what I mean? In which both um, participants wouldn't want to go to the ground. Understandably, you know, coming from the bare knuckle era, in which I believe grappling was allowed, you know, these fighters. They used the tools they had, and in these times, they had smaller gloves, which um, would help you in the grappling exchanges, you know what I mean? Better grip, better ability to maneuver in a clinch. Sometimes these fights are 40 rounds, 50 rounds, also like the energy expenditure. You have to pick the spots. Only really go for it when it's time, you know. It's a tiring process to watch. A tiring process probably to be in. To be able to go as many rounds as they did back then. But allow themselves to grapple a lot and then they can go 100 rounds, you know what I mean? It's not like that they can't be crisp and accurate. It's more like they choose when to be you know what i mean they have more time to work with it's more loud the whole grappling aspect nobody's letting a fire under you to fight or whatever andre ward was getting a lot of flag for clinching bernard hopkins a lot of people thought that was borderline illegal what these fighters were doing but they used it to their advantage and really you know in retrospect it probably was like very docile inside tactics compared to what was going on back in the day. You see Jack Johnson is muscling the middleweight champion here. He himself heavyweight. With a clear speed advantage over the middleweight. At the time Stanley Ketchum and long after that was regarded as like the best middleweight ever that was before. Carlos Monzon and Marvin Hagler. Now watching them here in this supposed exhibition in which both fighters are going down and getting knocked out, I guess. People are getting knocked out in an exhibition. Maybe it's more of the AC Chavez variety of exhibitions, you know. Shit can get heated. But it at times does look like an exhibition and at times um, just Ketchell's body language kind of looks like he's a little bit in a fight, you know, a little outmatched. I mean, even in an exhibition, probably a guy can get flustered. Johnson doesn't seem like the most friendly exhibitionist. That's not what I meant. Yeah, he's holding you up, and but all that clowning and it's very Roy Jones-esque, you know. He seems to have that type of mindset while fighting, like the ability to take you out, but he's not doing it. And after that, he would call himself probably a, like a, I don't know, a missionary. He likes the position of being a missionary. Now, I don't know, like, that thing, uh, yeah, I'm not trying to let the RJ out and put people away. I'm a good guy that tries to go the distance while 
clowning on you for 12 three minute rounds you know what I mean making a fool of the opponent prolonging procedures whatever this shit is man smiling while clinching and stuff like that's not necessarily you know sportsmanship no blah blah blah, blah. like who's gonna listen to the shit that I'm babbling This is a boring ass shit. Johnson's been boxing very cleverly. He's been letting Ketchell set the pace and wear himself down. So far, Johnson has just been peppering away with his jab and counter punching. He's also Terence Crawford esque, Johnson, huh? He's lulling. A lot of lulling and then exploding. Definitely wants a counter punch. Force the counter punch out of you, you know what I mean? Then when he's attacking, it's very UFC esque, you know? The punch walking thing. But then at times, like, he popped that, that little jab. Definitely has the faster hands, better reflexes. The way he behaves in the clinch reminds me of Roy Jones Jr. Oh, that jab. And that's a bloody face by Ketchel. Left side of Ketchel's face is badly mauled and bruised. You know what's interesting? Look at Johnson's back foot. The left side of Ketchel's face is badly mauled and bruised. I feel like that's all his balance. It's almost like he fights like a kangaroo. Like that back leg is the tail. That's where the balance comes from. He has superior balance. Look at his back leg. He didn't even move it, man. He's only like tapping his heel. If you watch his heel of his back leg, look at that leg. See that? That's his pivot leg. Bap. Man, that's almost like that Curtis Stevens reset thing that he would do. But he would do it with the ball of his foot. This fight is so lopsided, it looks as though Johnson could not catch it out any time he wanted to. Look at him. Oh, he's doing the Ali. And Johnson's like a panther. That's a seldom look of Johnson, of the bounce, trying to pop the jab. He's really just looking for the counter, trying to force the offense out of catch. The end of round 10. See how comfortable he is just to stifle. That looks like a late Roy Jones, you know? Johnson is down. He was a terrific right to the jaw. Sorry, but I don't buy that. I don't buy this. This knockdown, I don't buy. I'm ready. I'm ready, Jack. Like they're talking in the clinch. You ready, Stanley? I'm ready, Jack. Come on now. All that anticipation. Johnson hits him. Look at Catch. He's looking at his corner. He's kind of preoccupied with instructions. Like even the way Johnson got up, that doesn't look like a guy that... Looks like a temple shot. If it at all hit him. But he runs Ketchel into... Watch that. See what he does. Jones is already mid-stride for the right hand. Ketchel just in the last moment anticipated wrongly. 
and leans into the shot. I believe he got hit, like Michael Spinks got hit against Mike Tyson to the opposite side of his face that he would normally get hit by right hand. I feel like he leaned into the right hand. It's weird because he, his head is in line with Johnson's head. Next, his head is in Johnson's fist. Gotta see Referee's him again. Fast. Up at eight. He's mad. I mean, next to Johnson's right shoulder, that seems to be Ketchell's head. I believe Ketchell was looking down and got hit with something nasty. And another follow-up right hand, but then again, I believe he got hit. I don't know if he, like, we know how people fall when they get knocked out. He seems to be bracing himself still. He's not stiff. Back in the day, a lot of fights, they'd fall very exaggerated. And even nowadays, you can still see these type of knockouts, uh, I believe, in the Asian boxing ring. <laughs> I don't know. Just watch a couple of, like, Japanese fights. Like, there are these hardcore fans that are, like, very into, like, Japanese boxing and stuff. A lot of these knockouts look like martial arts movies, you know? They don't... Also, that these knockouts are in the lower weight classes, you know, but they tend to look a lot like air running type of knockouts, like the way the kid that um, Floyd Mayweather fought in the exhibition, like their knockouts look a lot like that, you know, exaggerated, and a lot of these old school fights look like that. See this dude, yeah, 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 yeah. still bracing. Like, we see dudes hit their head badly after getting knocked out. He doesn't hit his head. See? Barely. Barely. And he does this thing where his legs go up and... Come on now. <laughs> oh my god, bro. Okay, I don't know. Like, he's a gymnast, maybe. Okay, his legs went straight, like, doing snow angels type of thing and also not often you see a guy like stretched out like that legs wide apart really doing snow angels just looking at them Referee's count seems fast. Johnson's up at eight. He's mad. Ketchell's excited. Comes in wide open. Takes the right square in the jaw. They're both down. Johnson gets up. Yeah, I don't know. The great Stanley Ketchell, the Michigan assassin, is out cold. Yeah, is he? Is he out cold though? Maybe he's